Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on uh, interest and how it can be applied and how it can be applied compoundedly, which is a little bit different than our simple interest, which we'll get to at the end, um, and how to apply each of the different equations because up top you see we have a lot of equations. We have three for a simple interest. It's simple, but there's a because it's simple, there's a lot of ways we approach it. We have one for compounding, and we're not going to get to the annuity um, until later on. Okay, so compounded quarterly. That means four times a year the bank applies interest, and then you earn interest on your interest, which is why compounded interest is great because every iteration you're earning more money. So every quarter you earn a little bit more interest than you did the quarter before. Our formula that P is the principal, how much you initially invested. One stands for 100% because you're adding back to your initial principal, so that one is your 100%. The rate is the percent as a decimal, so we divide by 100 to get 0 0.08. N stands for the number of times it compounds. And the reason we divide here is you don't get 8% every quarter, you get 2% every quarter. So over the course of a year, you get 8%, but they divide it by the number of iterations a year. And because they're applying it four times a year for seven years, we need to multiply that four times seven to get all 28 iterations of interest. If we throw this into our calculator, we get at the end of seven years, 52,000 $230 and 73 cents. Notice we're rounding to two decimal places because this is money and that is how you round money. Now, let's see what happens if we have our interest applied just a little bit less. So instead of quarterly, semi-annually, so twice a year. Most of the equation is gonna stay the same. We're still starting with $30,000. We still have 8%, but this time, it's getting split up twice, so 4% every six months. And if it's every six months, that means it happens twice a year for seven years or has 14 applications. So with half as many, instead of getting 52,000, we get $51,950 and 29 cents. I know this doesn't seem like a big difference, but it's only seven years and it is a difference. It's more money when it's compounded more often. Now, compounded annually, for this one, we're gonna have, we're gonna start with our 30,000 again, one plus 0 0.08, and we don't have to put divided by one because, you know, the, the, anything divided by one is just itself, but if you wanna get the pattern to stay the same, we put it there. We could say one times seven, or we could just say seven here, because it happens seven times seven years, annually, once a year. And in this case, we get $51,414.73. All right, so these are all my compounded interest examples, and it's showing that as you compound less and less often, you make less and less money. And if you notice, the difference here is just under $300. The difference here is just over $500. So really, as you compound more, it's going to help more and more, but you really just want some sort of compounding. Now the big question becomes, what's the difference between compounding annually and simple interest? Compounding annually means that at the end of a year, you've earned 8%. That 8% is gonna be added into your principal, and the next year, instead of 30,000, you're gonna have 8% more than 30,000. So each year you're gonna earn a little bit more interest than the year before. Simple interest is when you earn interest, essentially you calculate it once and multiply it out. So for simple interest, we could do our interest and say, hey, our interest is the principal times rate times time and get a value and then just multiply that by seven and add it back in. That, well, seven is already there. Principal times rate times seven years would tell us the interest over seven years. but. Then we have to add it to our principal and that seems like more work than needed. So we'd have to do principal plus interest. But since interest is PRT, we can pull that PR and find out that one plus rate times time. These are the three formulas you see at the top. The first is for interest, second is showing that 
principal plus interest as total. And the second is pulling that P out, factoring it out, so you can do it in one step. If I do this last one, I have $30,000, one plus 0 0.08, times seven. Notice we don't have an exponent. An exponent is really how you grow exponentially. This is going to have the interest applied once and that is gonna be then multiplied by seven. So in this case, I get $46,800 because after one year, I've earned 8% and that's the total interest that's applied every year. I don't earn interest on my interest. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, like my video, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.